Hello everyone, today we have the Outlaws of Thunder Junction. For Magic the Gathering, the new set, we have a play booster box. It's the first time we will open up such a uh, box of that nature. Um, and this is actually quite interesting because we will get a lot more value for our money. Although the boxes are also a lot more expensive, so I, do, I think it evens out a bit. <coughs> right. Um, I attended the pre-release. Uh, it was really fun. I'm actually very, very happy that we are leaving Murders at Carl of Manor behind, because I really did not enjoy that set. really thought it was a boring experience to draft. And this is uh, a lot better, at least um, sealed is a lot better. We will find out uh, next Friday how draft is. Anyway, since I was only able to attend two pre-releases and normally if I like a set I will attend four, maybe uh, yeah, get another box as well. I did not have the time to pick up another box or uh, anything else, uh, attend even more, and so I decided to get one of these. Right. What do we have here? The archetypes. Just take a look at that. It's for draft. Nice. Uh, scan it to discover the coolest cards. Yeah, you can do that. If you like. And then we have the booster packs. So, the best of drafts and set boosters. These contain 14 cards. We will open up a pack and we will see what we get. Right. So, we will start off with the commons. Uh, holy cow. Harrier Strix, Desperate Bloodseeker, Hard Bristle Bandit. I really like these little plant guys. Uh, cactus people. Mine Raider. Uh, we have Jin of Fool's Fall. Tomb Trawler. It's an uncommon. Treasure Dredger. Uncommon. Visage Bandit. We have four uncommons in this pack. Marauding Sphinx. We have our first mythic, and that is a Gold Vein Hydra. Super awesome card. I played it in the pre release. Uh, it's a 1 green and X for 0 0. Vigilance Trample Haste. It enters the battlefield with uh, X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. When it dies, uh, you create top uh, a number of tapped treasure tokens equal to its power. Super nice. And there is always one of these Prosperity newspaper um, border cards in here. Always gonna be one. And this is Journey to Nowhere. And this is gonna be uh, like the Enchanted uh, Sheets from uh, uh, Eldraine. It's just a fun extra. It has its own set symbol as well. And, oh well, right off the bat, we have a foil rare. Pillage the Bog. Alright. Then we get a land, uh, Soured Springs. And we have an Art cards. And these can be uh, tokens as well. So, can be anything. I noticed during the pre-release, I did not see any list cards. I don't know where they have gone to. Maybe they have cut them for this set. I really don't know. Right, Rooftop Assassin, uh, Hard Bristle Bandit, Discerning Paddler, Sterling, uh, so Sterling Supplier, Loon Shark, Phantom Interference, Trash the Town, a Resilient Roadrunner, very fun. Uh, Omen Port Vigilante. Form a Posse. And then we have our first rare, uh, regular rare. Bruce Tarl, the Roving Ranger. And then we have a Hypothesis as an uncommon. And we have a foil. Oh, nice. Haven't seen a foil like this one before. The Size of Denial. Then we have a Festering Gulch. And another art card. And there will be a fo there is a foil in each and every pack. So the chances of getting uh, more mythics and rares uh, is a lot higher in this type of booster. But then again, this is also part of the reason why it's more expensive. We have a Mine Raider, uh, Outlaw Medic, Peerless Rope Master, Rooftop Assassin, Tumbleweed Rising, Mirage Mesa, Slickshot Vault Buster. Return the Favor, Getaway Glamour, uh, Lasso by the Law. We have a Caustic Bronco. Nice. All right. Uh, we have Tyrant Scorn. And we have a Foil Seraphic Steed. Another Foil Rare. And this is a Unicorn. Beautiful card. Very nice. Uh, Creosote Heath. 
And we get a token from another set, uh, the Bat. This is the Aftermath uh, set, the big hit or something like that. But yeah, that's uh, another set that's in here. There are a couple of uh, sheets worth of cards in here, which makes it uh, very hard to track what is what. But yeah. Outlaw Medic, Peerless Ropemaster, Rooftop Assassin, Tumbleweed Rising, Discerning Peddler, Sandstorm Verge, Intrepid Stablemaster, uh, Take for a Ride, Lazaf, the Familiar Strange, and we have Vraska Joins Up. It's actually, uh, this was a useful card in drafts, uh, in uh, Sealed yesterday, um, because it gives uh, Death Touch to all of uh, the creatures you have. Very nice. Oh, and we have a Mythic. From that other set, the uh, B.I.G., I don't know what that means, but uh, it is the Omen Path Journey. For four, we have an enchantment that says, when it enters the battlefield, search your library for up to five lands that have a different name, exile them, then shuffle. At the beginning of your end step, choose a card at random exiled with Omen Path Journey and put it into the battlefield. Tapped. Right. Uh, let's make another pile for that. Um, wait. Just put the mythics together. There we go. Fling has uh, prosperity cards. Uh, explosive derailment. Oh, and there's also a possibility that you get two foils. So it's also very nice. Uh, yeah, let's just put those over here. Fornlorn flats. And a useless advertisement card. I still don't understand why they put these in here. Still. Right, Desert Jew. We have Throw from the Saddle, uh, Mine Raider, Take Up the Shield, Silver Deputy, Free uh, Strider Commando, uh, Corrupted Conviction. We have Thunder Lasso, uh, Prosperity Tycoon, Spinewoods Armadillo. We have a Stingerback Terror as a rare. Then we have another rare, Dust Bowl. Nice. I will put all of these on the same pile. Uh, not looking at rarity at all. Prickly Pear as a foil. And we get a regular basic planes. As well as a sheep token. Look at that sheep. I like that token. Right. Next up. Discerning Peddler. Uh, take up the shield. Razzle Dazzler. Uh, Volt Plunderer, Quick Draw, which, by the way, I just have to say it, I usually don't do that for commons or uncommons, this card is insane. Oh my goodness, I was playing this in, um, yeah, during the pre-release, and I was surprised at this card. For only one red mana, it's an instant. Target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains first strike. Okay, that's just fine for this type of card. But then again, creatures, tar creatures, multiple, target opponent controls, loses, first strike, and double strike onto end of turn. That is just insane for only one. My goodness. And there are quite some cards in here that are uh, of that type of uh, yeah, power level. Sterling Keykeeper, uh, Betrayal at the Vault. We have uh, Ertha Joe, Frontier Mentor, uh, Eret Arcway. We have the Cactus Folk Sheriff Shot, Stoic Sphinx. And then we have a Path to Exile, which is also a rare. Highway Robbery as a foil and a foil uh, mountain and a useless card. So yeah, um, I noticed that the power level is just insane for this set. A lot of commons, uncommons, even rares. Um, it just... I compared it to a Juzam Jin, you know, it's like for four mana, they have a f it's a 5-5 five, five with an ability, no drawbacks, so it's even w it's way better than a Juzam Jin. Uh, Jailbreak Scheme, uh, Nezumi Linkbreaker, uh, Cactorantula, we have D a Dead Eye Duelist, Vengeful Townsfolk, Slickshot Vault Buster, Nurturing Pixie, and Neutralizing the Guards, uh, Unscrupulous Contractor. We have Riku of the Many Paths as a rare. And we have a Mythic Molten Duplication for two. It's a sorcery that says create a token that's a copy of target artifact or creature you control. Except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. It gains haste until end of turn and sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. 
And this is also from that uh, second set, that Vault set. Where are the Mythics? Oh, I put it in the wrong pile. Here we go. Uh, right down as our Prosperity card. We have a Foil Stubborn Burrow, uh, Burrow Field Fiend. Burrow Fiend. Uh, Forlorn Flats as a land. And we have an Art card. And even the reprints in the Prosperity slots is just insane. I mean, you can even get a Mana Drain. Take up the Shield. Uh, Razzle Dazzler, Vault Plunderer, Cactarantula, Quilt Charger, Corrupted Conviction, Phantom Interference, Slick Sequence, Rustler Rampage, uh, Rattleback Apothecary. We have Step Between Worlds. We have Electro Dominance as a rare. Then we have a Foil Trained Arynx. And we have a regular Forest as well as a Spirit Token. Cactarantula again, we have Quilt Charger, uh, Inventive Wingsmith, Jailbreak Scheme, Desert Dew, Free Strider, Commando, Boombox, uh, Rambling Possum, Intimidation Campaign, we have Magda, the Horde Master, as a rare, then we have another rare, Hellspur Posse Boss, we have Humiliate as a uh, Prosperity card, a Foil Ambush Gigapede, and a regular Mountain. Spring Splasher, a Desperate Bloodseeker, Reach for the Sky, Trick Shot, Inventive Wingsmith, Sterling Keykeeper, Fleeting Reflection, Hellspur Brute, a Wrangler of the Damned, Cunning Coyote, we have Pitiless Carnage, Essence Capture, we have a Foil Spring Splasher, a Foil Forest, and a Human Rogue Token, also from a different sheet. These are from the Prosperity cards. In which you can also get an Oko. Well, yes, of course. Inventive Wingsmith, uh, Jailbreak Scheme, Desert Dew, Drover Grizzly, Dead Eye Duelist, Mirage Mesa, Anglebiter, uh, Moel Homestead, Miriam, the Hurt Whisper, Longhorn Sharpshooter. We have a Concealed Courtyard as our uh, rare land. Then we have a uh, Clear Shot. We have a Nimble Brigand, Bristling Backwoods. And an art card. And the thing that we haven't seen yet, because there's another sheet in here, and that is actually the wanted cards, the wanted posters. Haven't even seen that one in uh, pre release as well. I saw only one person, um, yeah, pulling that and, and, and playing with it. Drover Grizzly, uh, Dead Eye Duelist, Sterling Supplier, Geyser Drake, Raven of, o of uh, Fell Omens. Corrupted Conviction, Jinn of Fool's Fall, Rise of the Varmints, Kraum, Violent Cacophony, Rictus Robber, uh, Tiny Bones joins up as a rare. We have another rare, Fell the Mighty. Then we have a Foil Badlands Revival, and we have a Full Art Mountain. You can see the red uh, yeah, mana symbol in there. Very nice. And another Art card. Uh, Field Fording, uh, Black Snug Buzzard, Dance of the Tumbleweeds, Highway Robbery, Armored uh, Armadillo, Ankle Biter, uh, Conduit Pylons, Outlaw Stitcher, Lively Dirge, Slick Shot Lockpicker. Ah, there we have him. This is one of the wanted posters. We have Breaches, the Blast Maker. Um, yeah, I really like this kind of style, this art style. Really like that. Uh, Cruel Ultimatum as a uh, rare prosperity card. Stop Cold as a foil. And we have, uh, yeah, the planes. Full art with the logo in the middle. Nice. And an art card with a signature. Sterling Supplier. Uh, Geyser Drake. Raven of Fell Omens. Bristleback Sentry. Uh, Trick Shot, Free Strider Commando, Sterling Keykeeper, Bandit's Howl, Baron Bertram Greywater, Frontier Seeker. We have uh, Cumball, the Profiteer Major. 
Mayor. Uh, back for more. We have an irascible Wolverine. And we have an island and a dinosaur token. Right, I will go a little bit faster through the cards now. Because we I think we have seen most of the commons right now. So yeah. I'm also uh, wondering how many more mythics we will get. So, uh, Ferocification, uh, Gila Corsair, Metamorphic Blast. Ah, there we have it. Selva, la, the Eager Trailblazer. It's a 4 mana 4, 5 Vigilance. Whenever you cast a creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one red mercenary creature token with the ability tap target creature you control with plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn. Activate only as a sorcery. Then you can tap her to choose a color. Add 1 mana of that color for each different power among creatures you control insane i got this one yesterday in the uh, pre-release as well didn't work that well for me but it's a really nice card if you can pull it off decisive denial just a regular we have the spineswood paladin and we have a lonely arroyo treasure token Right, take the fall. Haven't seen that one yet. Consuming ashes, no. Um, Iron fist pulverizer. See, there's a lot of cards that we haven't seen yet. All right, Eddie's lullaby, uh, voracious varmint, bridal bighorn, shifting grift, brimstone roundup, rackish crew. We have a lila undefeated slick shot as a rare, and we have a murder and a foil getaway glamour. Then we have a Lush Oasis and a uh, Human Warrior token. Wanted Griffin. All right, we have seen these. Oh, Boneyard uh, Desecrator. Yeah, all right. Nice. Bovine Intervention. Shackle Slinger. Uh, Gem Lightfoot, the Sky Explorer. Cactus Folk, sure shot. We have another round as a rare. Then we have a Pariah as a rare, which is also uh, reprinted. Cool. Ariad's Lullaby Foil, and we get a Lonely Ara Arroyo as well. Right, and now we see some cards again that we have already seen. Take the full Skullduggery. Overzealous Muscle, Demonic Ruckus, Bounding Felidar, Nimble Brigand, we have Pillage the Bog, ah, another Mythic Legion Extruder, for two it's an artifact, uh, when it enters the battlefield, it deals two damage to any target, for two and tap, sacrifice another artifact, create a 3-3 three, three colorless golem artifact creature token. And we have a Heartless uh, Pillage, we have a Foil Raven of f uh, Fell Omens, and a scorpion dragon token. I'm really, really, really hoping for a mana drain from this set because I have opened up quite some sets where mana drain is in, but I never got it. So, yeah, I would really like a mana drain. Stubborn Burrow Field uh, Fiend, Full Steam Ahead, Honest uh, Rut Steam. Skillstorm Summoner. We have Bristly Bill, the Spine Sower. I also had this one uh, during the pre-release. It was insane. This card, when I dropped it, immediately people went for him uh, to kill him. Because he's really good. It's a 2 mana 2-2. Two, two, uh, landfall, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature. Then for 5, double the number of plus 1 plus 1 counters on each creature you control. This is just insane. Just a crazy, crazy card. Savage Smash, Volt Plunderer, and we have a Mountain and a Pest Token. All right, what else do we have? Take the Fell, all right, yeah. Luxurious Locomotive, uh, Raucous Entertainer, Lasso by the law. We have a Wily Duke, the Atene hero, as a rare. And we have another uh, mythic. It's a Tarnation Vista. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, uh, it, yeah, well, it enters tapped. And as it enters, choose a color. 
Tap uh, one mana of the chosen color, and then for one and tap, you can, uh, for each color among monocolored permanents you control, add one mana of that color. Nice. Then we have a hindering light, and we have a foil make your own luck, and a swamp. Nice. Right. Thunder Salvo, Steer Clear, Seize the Secrets, Ambush, Gigapede, Rodeo Pyromancers, uh, Binding Negotiation, uh, Jolene, The Plundering uh, Pugilist, Doc Orlock, Grizzled Genius, he's a, uh, a bear druid. <laughs> uh, we get a Claim Jumper, which is a bunny, very nice. And, ooh, nice, we have Oko, Thief of Crowns. Is a reprint from Eldraine. Uh, it's a planeswalker for four loyalty, three cost, plus two, create a food token, plus one, target uh, artifact or creature loses all abilities and becomes a green elk creature with base power and toughness, three, three, a minus five, exchange control of target artifact or creature you control, and target creature and opponent controls with power three or less. Wow. That's really nice to have. Uh, I, already, I already had him from Eldraine, but it's good to have another one. Even though it was banned a long time, um, it's still a very powerful card. All right, let's go back. Giant Beaver, fake your own death, return the favor. Outcast Greenblade, unfortunate accident. Kellen joins up as a rare, and then we have a Heartless Pillage. Then we have a Foil Conduit Pylons, and a Festering Gulch, and a Copy Token. Ooh, I like that one. Really nice. Alright. So... Oasis Gardener, we haven't seen that one yet. Hollow Marauder, this town ain't big enough. Shepherd of the Clouds, Roxanne, Starfall uh, Savant, as a rare. Kervac, the Punisher. And we have, ooh, from the special guest, we have a Port Razor. For five, it's an Orc Pirate, uh, for four, that says, when it deals combat damage to a player, untap each creature you control. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. Port Razor can't attack a player, it has already attacked this turn. Nice. Skewer the Critics, and we have a Foil Bristle Pack Sentry, and a Braided Bluffs, and an Art Card. We are uh, well beyond halfway of the box. It's really hard to see in these kind of boxes, but yeah, we are closing in on the end. I'm thinking. Shoot the Sheriff, Shackle Slinger, Prairie Dog, we have Obeka, Splitter of Seconds, then we have a Terminal Agony, we have Take the Fall, Bristling Backwoods, and we have a Mercenary Token. And so far, I'm really enjoying the feel of this set, the whole theme, the Western theme. I like it. When they first announced it, I wasn't skeptical. I actually thought, yeah, this can be really fun to have. Arid Arcway, uh, Betrayal at the Vault, Doc Orlock, Getaway Gleamer. We have another mythic, Giret, the Mirror of the Wilds. It's a 3 mana 3-3 three, three haste. Non-token creatures you control have tap. Create a token that's a copy of target token you control that entered the battlefield this turn. Then we have a Fierce Retribution, and a Foil Lone Shark, and a Foil Island. So yeah, but that's the same with the next set as well, uh, Bloomborough. I'm really excited for Bloomborough, with all the critters. Uh, really looking forward to Assassin's Creed, because I love Assassin's Creed. So yeah, it's going to be a fun time for Magic again. I really didn't care for, uh, didn't care much for uh, murders. Uh, Caught in the crossfire, uh, bucolic ranch, scorching shots. We have another mythic. Whew. Final showdown. Uh, for one, while it's an instant and it has spree, 
So, plus one, it has all creatures lose all abilities until end of turn, or you can choose plus one, choose a creature you control, it gains indestructible until end of turn, or you can say plus uh, five, destroy all creatures. You can mix it up, do it all, uh, it's up to you. Really cool. And then we have a primal command, not too bad. And we have a foil Baron Bertram Greywater, as well as a foil forest. You can see here the foil uh, well, the forest, the green mana symbol, logo, what you might call it. Meteorite token. Nice. Oh my goodness. Right. Uh, snakeskin veil. Prickly pear. Here we it's lullaby. Stop cold. Oasis gardener. Bristled bighorn. Uh, Outcast a green blade. Mage bane lizard. Requisition raid. Gem lightfoot sky explorer. We have a spire bluff canal as a rare land. Then we have a fierce retribution. Oh, we can just put it over here. Uh, foil sterling hound, as well as a, a full art forest and an elemental token. Then we have a Mystic Tether, uh, Daring Thunder Thief, Ambush Chigapede, Giant Beaver, Reckless Lackey, Gold Pan, Stagecoach, Security, Emergent Haunting, Bedrock, uh, sorry, Red Rock Sentinel, Blood Hustler, we have a Rare Smuggler Surprise, then we have a Thornado, uh, Desert Dew Foil, uh, we have an Island, and we have a Mercenary Token. Alright, Prickly Pear, Ariad's Lullaby, Stop Cold, Consuming Ashes, Gold Pan, Outlaw's Fury, Boombox, Sheriff of Safe Passage, Form a Posse, Great Train Heist as a rare. We have another rare, Pillage the Bog. Then we have another rare, Surgical Extraction. Then, oh, that, that, that's it for the rares. We have a foil caught in the crossfire. And we have a regular swamp and a treasure token. Not too bad of a pack, three rares. Consuming Ashes, uh, Patient Naturalist, Explosive Derailment, Trained Arynx, Razzle Dazzler, uh, Outlaw's Fury, Miriam Hurt Whisperer, Beast Bond Outcaster, Canyon Crab, Fortune, Loyal Steed. Oh, and we have another, oh my goodness, look at that. We have a sword, the Sword of Wealth and Power. It's a three cost, equip two, just like the other swords. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from instants and sorceries. Nice. When equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. Um, when you uh, yeah, when you next cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the spell. I didn't even know this was going to be in here. I didn't even know this existed. And we have an Outlaw's Merriment. We have a Foil Crown, a violent cacoph uh, cacophony. Jagged Barons and another Human Cleric's Token. That's really, really nice. Right, Wanted Griffin, Spring Splasher, Mourner Surprise, Throw from the Saddle, Highway Robbery, Overzealous Muscle, Deep Merc Commando, uh, De Desperado, sorry. Make Your Own Luck, Ruthless Lawbringer, Colossal Rattleworm as a rare. We have another rare, Great tri uh, Train Heist. We have Buried in the Garden, and we have a Foil Throw from the Saddle, as well as an Eroded Canyon, and a Copy Token. Patient Naturalist, Explosive Derailment, Trained Arynx, Razzle Dazzler, Vault Plunderer, Stagecoach Security, Oasis Gardener, uh, Ferocification, Beast Bond Outcast, uh, Prosperity Tycoon, we have an Insatiable Avarice as a rare, then we have a Decisive Denial, and a Foil Ankle Biter, and a Creosote Heath, as well as an art card with a um, golden signature. There's still more in the box, where that came from. At least three more. I don't know if there's anything below that. We'll see. 
Tumbleweed Rising, Irascible Wolverine, Outlaw Medic, Harrier Strix, Sterling Hound, Jin of Fool's Fall, Sheriff of Safe Passage, uh, Congregation Griff, Longhorn Sharpshooter, Fibblethup, Lost on the Range as a rare, and we have Repulse as the reprint card. Slickshot Vault Buster is a foil and a swamp with an art card. Yeah, okay, we have three more packs, including this one, so yeah, after these three, it's done. Tumbleweed Rising, Irascible uh, Wolverine, Outlaw Medic, Harrier Strix, Mourner Surprise, Voracious Varmint, Congregation Griff, Rise of the Varmints, Intimidation Campaign. We have as a rare Bonnie Pal, the Clear Cutter. We have another mythic, ooh, Voltborn Tyrant. For seven, it's a six-six trample, and when it or another creature uh, with power four or greater enters the battlefield under your control, you gain three life and draw a card. When Voltborn uh, Tyrant dies, if it's not a token, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's an uh, artifact in addition to its other types. Ooh, oh my goodness, that was. Uh Scaring me. Mind tr Break Trap. Also a great mythic, but I thought it was a blue mythic. I thought it was a mana drain, honestly. But still, Mind Break Trap is really nice to have as well. It's a four cost instant a trap. If an opponent co uh, costs three or more spells this turn, you may pay zero rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Exile any number of target spells. Then we have a Voracious Farmant foil, and we have a Forest, as well as an Elemental token. But we have two more chances for the Mana Drain. <sighs> Unless I'm just not destined to have a Mana Drain. Vengeful Townsfolk, Lone Shark, Nezumi Linkbreaker. Reach for the Sky, uh, Irresible Wolverine, Sterling Hound, Conduit Pylons, Forsaken Miner, Alloy Alchemist, Plan the Heist. We have a Free Strider Lookout as our rare. Oh wow, another mythic. Uh, Force of Vigor for four. It's an instant. Uh, if it's not your turn, you may exile a green card from your hand instead of ray, um, oh, rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Then destroy up to two targets, artifacts, and or enchantments. Very nice indeed. Sandstorm Verge is a foil and an island with an art card. Final booster. Let's take a look. Can we go out with a bang, or is this already stretching it? Mourner Surprise, Drover Grizzly, Quilt Charger, Holy Cow, Peerless Rope Master, Mirage Mesa, Quick Draw, a Raucous Entertainer, Map the Frontier, Unfortunate Accident. We have another mythic, uh, Kellen the Kids. It's a 3 mana 3 3 flying and lifelink. Uh, whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, you may cast a permanent spell with equal or lesser mana value from your hand without paying its mana cost. If you don't, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. And we have a Primal Might, which is a rare. And, an and another foil rare as well. One last job. All right, and another foil, Lonely Ario, Arroyo. And a clue token. Well, there you have it. My goodness. Without counting the Prosperity cards, we have so many Mythics. Look at that. But then again, for the price of the box, uh, yeah, it better be. It better be. How many of the Mythics do we have over here? Look at that. Oh, one, two... Three, three mythics. Um, we don't have any foil mythics, so yeah. Um, and we only have one wanted card. I don't know what the uh, rarity is of the wanted cards, but still, it's r it's looking rather nice actually. Very well. I'm very very pleased with this box um, as well as with the set. I really like it. Thank you all very much for watching. Join the Discord channel if you haven't done so already. It's free. And we can dis discuss everything that you want about card games, uh, even trade or, or, or sell cards uh, that you have, uh, looking for cards, uh, whatever you want, discuss decks, anything goes. So thank you all very much for watching, um, thank you all for the Patreons as well, and I hope to see you guys all next time. Bye bye!